As AI becomes more pervasive, ethical concerns arise, including issues related to bias and fairness in AI algorithms, transparency and explainability of AI decision-making. Interesting point, except I never said that. That was my human avatar. It was my chat GPT-powered Tom, if you like. And if you were fooled by that, I don't blame you. It's a pleasure to be here on Bloomberg TV. Human avatars are digital twins that use AI algorithms to mimic an individual's behavior, their appearance and interactions. And it's a serious business opportunity. In fact, by some estimates, by the end of this decade, this could be worth about $500 billion in terms of the sector, in terms of the industry. And here's how I made mine. So I've come down here to East London to a studio run by Synthesia. It's the world's biggest maker of AI-generated avatars. I had to read lots of rather weird scripts. Hello? Really? Great. That was part of the voice cloning process. Then, of course, I had to stand in front of the camera and bust some moves. Then we plugged the final product into ChatGPT. That enabled us to have a conversation. Now, businesses across multiple different industries, they're leveraging this kind of technology to cut costs and automate things like communications, training, e-learning, and sales. There are, of course, loads of moral and ethical questions, and one of the key questions for many people will be, well, is this technology our human avatars? Are they gonna replace us? Are they gonna take our jobs? Well, I pose that question to my digital twin, and it assured me that, at least when it comes to my job, I'm safe for now. Human TV anchors bring unique qualities such as charisma, critical thinking, and adaptability. So, rest assured, I'm here to assist, not to take your place. 